We're going to be talking about first grade students and geometric diagrams. What do they notice? Every school year, millions of young children encounter 2D diagrams of plain and solid shapes, like the ones on these widely available posters. Similar diagrams appear frequently on worksheets and in textbooks. The context and structure of mathematical diagrams influences how children make sense of them. Do you see the letter B or the number 13 on the left? Which of the figures on the right would you prefer when asked to compare shaded regions to unshaded? My colleagues and I wondered if younger children had 3D examples of plain and solid shapes in front of them, how would they relate these 3D examples to the 2D depictions? We interviewed 36 first grade children while they performed a shape matching task with 2D and 3D shapes. Our task featured eight plain and solid shape diagrams for each item. Children were presented 3D plain and solid shapes and asked to find the 2D shape anywhere in the 3D shapes or parts of the shape for the solid items. They were told that shape matches could be tall and skinny or short and fat, and they were free to pick up and inspect target shapes. For each item, there was one direct match to the diagram and one non-match, as well as two challenge matches. These matches required children to see and relate parts of the shapes. In every case, we asked the child about at least one match and one exclusion decision for each item, and we asked about all the errors that the children made. We found that our participants were overinvested in the pointiness of triangles <laughs> to the extent of excluding other relevant features. For example, none of the 36 children in our study matched the rectangle diagram <coughs> to the rectangular face of a triangular prism, often explaining that they omitted the object because it's a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Another difficulty children exhibited was with how projected surfaces were represented in the 2D line diagram. This happened when some children described their reasoning about a cone, where the triangular face is projected toward the eye line with a curved volume. Children rejected the cone's triangular face because it doesn't have lines like the drawing. They did not really interpret the visual boundaries of the curved surface of the 3D cone as equivalent to the lines in the 2D drawing. Additionally, performance on a mental rotation task was positively associated with correct matches. For solid shape items, performance on a visual spatial working memory task was positively associated with correct exclusions, and longer decision times were positively associated with correct inclusions. We recommend that teachers explicitly frame discussions about how 2D and 3D representations of plain and solid shapes relate to each other in geometry lessons. Teachers may increase fruitful noticing by slowing down the conversation and by drawing students' attention to less salient properties of shape. Thank you.